September 2nd, 1965, 75-year-old Abe Mortimer bellowed, play ball, before an audience of more than 2,500 at Capilano Stadium in Vancouver to kick off a two-inning old-timers baseball game. The master of ceremonies was none other than Nat Bailey, whose name graces the stadium to this day. The crowd roared their approval as Abe's famous voice echoed off the grandstands in Little Mountain Park. The life of Abe Mortimer, everyone's favorite umpire, was remarkable. As a descendant of BC's original black settlers, his life paralleled a long history of black people in Canada and the United States until his death in 1969. His time as an umpire was the final chapter in a long working and playing life. Ebenezer Alexander Bortimer was born in New Westminster in 1889 to a working class family. His father was from Trinidad and worked as a cook. His mother, Lucretia, was the daughter of Charles and Nancy Alexander, one of the first black families to settle in BC in 1858 at the invitation of colonial governor, Sir James Douglas. Shortly after Abe was born, the Mortimers moved to Vancouver and were only the second black family in what would become the historic Strathcona neighborhood near Main Street in East Vancouver. William Mortimer died in the early 1900s, leaving Lucretia and seven children to feed. Abe was the oldest. It would have been a tough time. In the 1911 Canadian census, Lucretia was enumerated as head of the household. The family home near 3rd and Main Street sheltered 15 people, adults, children, grandchildren, and lodgers. Those who listed a profession were cooks, domestics, and a grocer. Mortimer began his lifelong baseball career in 1906 at 17 years of age. He played mainly on the Hanbury Lubber Mills ball team of the Vancouver Terminal League. He led the league in hitting for five years straight. Organized sport provided an escape from the crowded home life and Mortimer excelled as an athlete. He was not the only sibling to follow the sporting life. His brother Oscar was a professional heavyweight boxer holding the Canadian champion title. Abe Mortimer was a member of the International Longshore Association, ILA, baseball team that won the citywide championship in 1920. He also played for the ILA Squamish Indians field lacrosse team at the Camby Street grounds at Camby and Dunsmuir Avenue under coach Andy Paul. I guess some people thought I was a pretty black looking Indian, Mortimer laughed later. Abe worked as a teamster and millwright for several lumber companies in Vancouver between 1911 and 1923. That was the year he headed over the border to play first base in the semi-professional Negro Baseball Leagues, as they were called at the time. He stayed for eight years, mostly with the Kansas City Monarchs. There, he met rookie black pitcher Satchel Paige, who went on to become one of baseball's great names. Mortimer remembered Paige as a cocky fellow who called him that smart aleck Canadian. 
Following a stint in Alberta and a championship in Edmonton, Mortimer returned to BC in the mid-1930s to find endless bread lines of the unemployed ringing his beloved Powell Street baseball diamond. He found work at the Sterling Lumber Yard and also trained racehorses at Lansdowne Park in Richmond. Mortimer was the first black person in Vancouver to enlist in the army during the Second World War, an achievement worthy of a photo in the province newspaper. He joined the Canadian Forestry Corps in 1940 by lying a little about his age on the application. Before leaving Canada for Europe, Mortimer organized a baseball team in his unit so he could continue to play the game he loved while overseas. When he returned to Canada in 1943, friends and family had given him up for dead. His ID had been found after a bombing raid in Scotland. It was all a mistake, he assured everyone. But put it in the paper that I'm alive, will you? A smiling Mortimer told the Vancouver Sun reporter. The bustling wartime industrial economy in Vancouver produced a strong union movement. The game of baseball was a popular sport among the working class, and many unions fielded teams. The boilermakers, machinists, longshoremen, and firefighters played in the Vancouver Industrial League into the 1950s. Even the Communist Party newspaper, the Pacific Tribune, entered the league briefly in 1951. In post-war years, Mortimer coached and managed the International Woodworkers of America Vancouver Local 1-217 Senior Men's Softball Team. He may have thrown a few uncomplimentary remarks at the opposing pitcher, mused the IWA's photo caption in the Union newspaper. One of the players was the first black IWA member in the Vancouver Union local and a civil rights activist by the name of Emmett Holmes. In 1949, while supporting himself working in a scrap metal shop on Pryor Street, Mortimer signed up for a new kind of combat as a baseball umpire. There, he endeared himself to fans and sports writers alike and was happy to reminisce about his lifelong love of baseball. At 73 years of age, he stood six feet, two inches tall and weighed 215 pounds. Old Abe was a big carefree man who exudes health and goodwill, observed the province sports writer. Abe Mortimer endured taunts from the grandstands in his career as a player and an umpire. Bottles, a blueberry pie, and a watermelon were some of the items thrown at him from the grandstands, but he made light of any racist behavior from some fans. I always met the situation with humor, he said, and maybe that's the reason I have never once been the victim of any discrimination. Big Abe's booming voice carried to the remotest reaches of the stadium, and he was voted the most popular umpire in the Kingsway Baseball League in 1950. Everybody remotely interested in local baseball has a place in their hearts for that umpiring man Mortimer, wrote Doug McPhail in the province newspaper. Fans and players know him by name. They know him by sight and they know him by sound. In 1967, Mortimer was inducted into the Vancouver Baseball Hall of Fame at a ceremony at Capilino Stadium. He died in 1969 after a life of hard work, 
good humour and athleticism. Corporal Ebenezer Mortimer is buried at Mountain View Cemetery in Vancouver in the Field of Honour.